Hey everyone, welcome back to the Waterstones vlog. It's Will here. Um, I'm wondering whether you, like me, have that thing where you read books and they often are very sort of uh, separate things. You know, you start a book, you enjoy it, you finish it, you move on to the next one and it's completely different. But every now and then I have this thing where I'm reading and two books that I read back to back are weirdly connected. And it's not something that I do on purpose. I haven't read them together because I think there's a connection, but there will be these weird thematic connections perhaps, uh, ways in which the two books absolutely complement each other and become richer because of that connection. Um, I'm thinking of this recently because I read two books which are absolutely like this, but weirdly because they're almost the opposite of each other. Let me explain more. Um, the first of these books is this one here. This is Exit West by Mohsin Hamid. Um, he was uh, shortlisted for the Man Booker Prize last year with this novel. The second time he's been shortlisted for the Man Booker Prize, which is a pretty good, pretty good uh, going right there. And um, a fantastic book. Um, it's the story of a boy and a, a girl, a, a man and a woman, Said and Nadia, who come together and fall in love. Um, but the brilliant conceit of the book is that uh, around the world, these doors start to appear where people can move instantaneously almost from one part of the world to another, which sort of renders the idea of borders and immigration control rather redundant. Um, and what happens, of course, is that people from sort of war-torn or famine-ravaged countries are able to, to move to more affluent places like London and San Francisco, and there's this sort of huge refugee crisis around the world. Um, people who live in those countries suddenly feeling like they're under threat from all these people who are able to move very freely into the country. Um, it throws up lots of very interesting questions about refugees, about immigration, uh, and about the world that we live in. And as I say, with this brilliant central conceit, which is these doors, um, and it's because of the simplicity of that idea that the book is almost immediately canonical. Um, and I'm thinking of other recent books like The Power by Naomi Alderman, which also has a brilliantly simple idea at its centre, which sort of is able to then tip the balance in, in the uh, sort of power between the sexes. Um, these books are so simple with the concept, but it's a way that sort of shifts your perception as a reader and makes you see things completely differently, which I absolutely loved. So Exit West is a fantastic book um, filled with really, really interesting ideas and, and these two lovely characters that you, you can't help but care about. I got the chance to speak to Mohsin Hamid about it because he popped into Waterstones and we had a chat. He's very smart, very funny, very uh, interesting and very humane actually. And so we had a really good chat. So you will see links to that interview down below. I've chopped it up into three pieces to make it a little bit more digestible. Links will be popping up above my head as well. We spoke about home and identity and hope and Brexit, of course, um, but really, really interesting. So do take some time to watch that when you've got a moment. So that is Exit West, a book that I would really, really recommend. And as I say, the main thrust of it is about the, this idea of removing the journey of the immigrant, removing the obstruction, removing the border. And this is interesting because the next book that I happened to read was this one, The Line Becomes a River by Francisco Cantu, which is um, gonna be published at the very beginning of March. And the reason why this is interesting is because Cantu was a US border patrol agent and he worked uh, in the desert along the, the Mexico border. And his job there was to retrieve people who had got lost in their journey from Mexico to America and eventually process them and then get them back to Mexico. Now this is obviously hugely <laughs> resonant and relevant because of the idea of building this wall between Mexico um, and America. Obviously a border exists, but it's you know, hugely contentious. And as you sort of um, read this book, you get a much better understanding of what it really means to try and undertake that journey from Mexico to America. So that's why I think of this as being the opposite book to Exit West, because whilst Exit West removes the journey and focuses on the experience of the immigrant once they are in a country, and indeed the focus of uh, looking at the people who live in the country and how their lives are affected by the immigration, this book is absolutely all about the border. It is about the journey. It is about how hard and difficult and life-threatening it is. In fact, there are so many deaths of people trying to undertake this journey, you realize just how dangerous it is. Um, and so it is all about what separates people. And for Cantu, who is a third generation Mexican-American, it is about this very, very confused border of identity with yourself when you are American, but also you have this Mexican family. Um, this is often the case with border patrol agents. Uh, it makes sense, of course, that they would have this um, mixed heritage. And so this, this conflict of 
these two countries separated by this sort of, you know, this line that's sort of bizarrely drawn on a map. And in fact, he goes into the details about where the border is, why it is there, the history of how it was drawn up and how at one point it does actually follow the line of the, the Rio Grande. And, you know, depending on where you're swimming in the water, you may be on one country or another. His writing is unbelievably good. And he is brilliant about so many things um, and the sort of the experience of crossing through the desert, his experiences as an agent. And as the book progresses, um, it, there is a very personal story that happens actually for him. And this is actually after he's left the service um, and, and started to sort of train as a writer, um, which makes it all sort of really horrifically personal. Um, and so there's quite a sort of knife in the gut towards the end of the book where you feel really very uh, painfully involved in what's going on and there is something that's where the the border and the division between these two countries becomes really apparent um i'm not going to say any more because i don't want to spoil it but as i get uh, as you can probably guess i would heartily recommend it it's a fantastic book and i think both of these books together complement each other brilliantly because despite the fact that they're talking about very opposite things, one about the immigrant experience and the other about the border and the journey, I think that they both have a similar sentiment, which is that borders are, of course, by their very nature, divisive, and the things that uh, unite us are far more important and uh, sort of obvious than the things that divide us, which are very artificial and false. Um, so there we go. That is The Line Becomes a River by Francis Cantu, which is published on the 1st of March, and Exit West by Mason Hammer. This is a hardback, but there's a, a new paperback, um, which is all colourful and lovely. So there we go. Two books, almost completely opposite, weirdly connected. Loved them both. There we go. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, do please leave likes and comments and all that sort of stuff. Make sure you're subscribed, tell your friends, and come back and join us next week where you'll be hearing about more fantastic books. Take care.